Bam, it's Cece. Today we're going to be reviewing a new wig and this one is a real hair wig. I know I've been doing so many synthetic wigs but this one is real Remy hair and it is from Lovin' Hair Shop. Dot com. Let's try this out. I have not tried this wig on yet. We're gonna style it today. We're gonna make it look cute. Cause you know when you get wigs, a lot of times they don't look so cute, like straight out the box, especially real hair wigs. Oh. <laughs> I just dropped it. So this one is 613 blonde. I believe it's 18 inches. So I like to get wigs that are somewhat close to the color that I have in my hair. Obviously this is way shinier because it's like fresh and it's healthy hair and mine is fried and damaged and bleached to death. This hair, loveandhairshop.com, is on AliExpress and I gotta say, straight out the box, it like smells kind of funny, like you know when hair just smells like weird. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It smells like funny smelling hair. It's not like amazing flowery smell or anything like that. But a lot of real hair does smell like that. So let's show the inside. This is really beautifully made wig, and this whole area is lace front so it should look super natural and then we've got some clips inside of here. This head of hair is full of extensions so I need to first off take these bad boys out. Oh that's good. Okay. So while we're doing this I'll just chit chat with you right quick because it's been Panda's birthday and we have been celebrating all week and today we went to the happy place which is like this museum full of like really fun photo ops. We we're taking tons of photos today and that's why I wanted to have cute hair, you know? But now it's time to get more comfortable because fuck this, it hurts. And this is itching me and bothering me, so I'm gonna take it off as well. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just, I have to. I've been wearing this same hair and makeup and accessories all day. When your accessories are just like itching your fucking body. I at least wanted to look cute for the beginning of the video though, you know? Ooh. Oh, and we had a photo shoot for Kelly Maglia. More CC Panda designs and clothes coming soon at kellymaglia.com. Okay, so straight away I am just going to put this on and see what we're working with here. And then we can get into like how to cut it and all that good stuff. Um, I obviously need to cut the lace and then these baby hairs are like way too long so I'm gonna cut those too. This hair is not like super super dense. It, it feels more like if this was my real head of hair. Which is kind of nice because I don't always want my wigs to be super super thick and heavy just because they can give you headaches. It's a lot of hair to style you guys like seriously. Let me cut the lace off of this. Give me a second. And just so you guys know the knots are bleached on here. Oh, I just noticed there's a lace in the back. So you could actually like wear a ponytail with this and have the hair up. Ooh, hello. Didn't realize that. Dope. Okay, we're putting this back on. This is kind of like a little side part that's happening here, but you can pretty much throw the hair wherever you want. It's just that that is where it is right now styled. These hairs are the baby hairs and they're so long. The lace is darker than my skin tone so the lace is showing right here and I might just cut off that part because it looks silly on me and I don't really need the baby hairs that much because I don't get baby hairs. Let's cut off like this little bit of baby hairs because on me it was pointless. I'm a blonde already. If you have dark hair you probably need to keep those on there and that my sideburns are blonde. They're a little growing out but it's okay. This part is kind of like built into the wig. Even though technically you should be able to part it anywhere in the middle of this frontal area, I feel like the way it's been sitting is right there being the part. And it was constructed in such a manner where that is supposed to be the part. I'm gonna go with that since that's the natural flow of this hair. And then we are going to start curling it because this is cute and all, but I'm trying to make it look better than this. This just looks like I'm not even trying. <laughs> I've got my hot tools right here. I'm gonna put up half of the hair first. So, well that was a little more than half, but you get the idea. So I'm just gonna start with little sections. We're gonna see how this curls. Let's test this baby out. Hold it for like five seconds and then pull it. Okay. She fucking curls, ladies and gentlemen. I'm like not even holding it on here for very long. Okay, we have ringlets. 
lengths. When you do your curls in different directions, it just makes your curly hair look a little bit more wild. When you do them all in the same direction, what can happen is that the curls kind of fall into each other and make like a big wave, which is really pretty. I'm not mad at it. It's just a different vibe, you know? Try not to burn my face. Please don't burn my face. I'm so Goldilocks right now. <laughs> Love it though, it's so cute. So y'all have probably seen Beauty Guru's curl hair like a million fucking times. So we're gonna speed this up. Okay, so I curled the whole thing. Wait, let me back up. Decided to flip it this way. I sprayed this with a little bit of hairspray just to kind of like hold the curls. And then this part, I wanna go this way. And then this, there's some baby hair here, which I actually don't mind. I think it's cute. These in the front need to be touched up a little bit. Curl it all the way up to here so there's more body. But this hair is looking super natural, which I really, really like. This, I feel like, needs more body up here. I want it to go down, so I'm just gonna kind of use the curling iron to like flatten this a little bit and make this hair go back. And this baby hair, like flatten it out a little. So I would have this glued down. I'm going to bed after this, so I'm not gonna be gluing it down right now. I like this part going up and over to this side. So I'm gonna hold it. Please don't get on my lens. I'm gonna kinda hold it in the place I want it and then let it go. Oh, yes, girl. Okay. Here we have this blonde, beautiful Goldilocks wig. <laughs> Curls are adorable. Feels natural. Comes with baby hairs, which I cut off most of them, I know, but you guys. Am I high up enough? Yeah. Oh, why am I loving this so much, you guys? Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder. I should be looking at you, fam bam. I'm sorry. Definitely feeling myself in this Goldilocks wig. Like, how cute. Sweating, but, you know. Ignore the sweat! This hair looks like it could be the real hair growing out of my head because it's not some crazy, thick, huge drag queen wig. This is, like, natural-looking hair, which I really, really enjoy. It feels so lightweight, but it still looks really full. So let me know if you guys like this wig. I am so down for it. I'm loving it. I'm feeling the Goldilocks vibes. Let me know what you guys think. Of course, the link will be down below in the description box. This is not even an expensive wig for all this real hair. Like, I'm kind of shocked. Under 200. Definitely check them out. I'm going to make another video in the future. See how it wears. I'm going to wear it out a couple times. See how it's doing. Give you an update and do a different style with it as well. I will talk to you really soon. Bye!